Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm Idris and today I'm going to be showing you, we have a lot to discuss. I mean, not a lot, but uh, I've been trying some stuff out in my portfolio. I've been actually selling my short-term position stocks I bought during the pandemic. Just to give a little recap, these stocks I bought during the pandemic, I didn't buy them to hold them long-term, but I bought them also to hold them over a year and some I sold. I, I try not to sell most of them within the year so I could, I wouldn't be charged in a, in a higher tax. I would, I, would, I would have to pay back a lot of tax, so I tried to own all the stocks for a year and or more to actually sell the stocks uh, later to get the profit from them and invest the stocks in, in invest the money I get from the stocks into my dividend portfolio. So I've been recent recently I've been selling those stocks and uh, I think for the past couple of weeks I've been selling those stocks uh, gradually and I would be showing you uh, those stocks I've been selling in my dividend portfolio but I bought the stocks during the pandemic and uh, these stocks was uh, most of them were uh, really really undervalued then and I tried to uh, pick a lot of them up when I was done uh, dividend shopping for the for dividend companies that were undervalued so I saw the stocks and I figured uh, this are not really going anywhere they were really oversold they were really cheap so I bought a lot of them so now most of them I spent a substantial amount something I know I could um um, I, I can afford to uh, buy and not also lo lose sight of buying dividends company. So uh, that's the strat strategy I used during the pandemic. I tried to buy a lot of dividend company, but at the same time, I was trying to buy a lot of undervalued stock. I knew this was, uh, they were good. They were good companies, but uh, they are not part of, they're not going to be a part of my portfolio for a long term. I'm just trying to take some profits and I used the, whatever profits I get from them to buy into more dividend company along the way. So uh, now without further ado, let's just jump right into my dividend portfolio. I'm just going to open my Robinhood account now. Now, so as you can see, my account is valued at $59,724.07 and as you can see in a day i'm up 237 dollars and 81 cents in the week i'm up 1481 dollars and 74 cents in a month i'm up 2142 dollars and 57 cents and in three months i'm up 2000 2501 dollars and 16 cents and uh in a year, I'm up $11,380.73. As you can see, uh, the stock market is actually performing well this week. So um, most, most of my position has been up. So, and which I've also been buying during the dip. So I, even though people are like, oh, we don't know if there's going to be a big market crash. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop and wait for that market crash to happen. Because what if it doesn't happen anytime soon? So a uh, correction might happen. It might not happen anytime soon. That doesn't stop me from buying. I'm still going to keep buying these companies because I know at the moment they are undervalued. They are undervalued and I see a little bit red. I'm going to buy more and more of these stocks. So uh, now let's just jump into stocks I've been selling. So if, as you can see, first of all, uh, let's go to, I sold my Ford position. I sold my Ford and GE position. Uh, I took my profit out of those. Uh, actually the GE was a stock, I think it was, a, it was the very first stock I bought when I first started using Robinhood. But I sold my stock in, uh, in my GE position and I sold that for a total of $203.20 20 for GE and my fourth position I have I own 14 shares and I think my average cost then was about seven dollars and I sold uh, uh I sold everything and I sold it for $180.52 and uh, this was back in September 14. I've been selling my selling those stocks gradually. And recently, I just 
sold i just sold another stock which is uh i sold my bp position i sold about uh 20 38 shares of bp which i sold for a thousand and sixty four dollars and uh sixty four dollars so uh i actually took my money out of that because i also i already owned uh, I own ExxonMobil and Chevron, which are one of the largest uh, oil and energy sectors. So I don't see any reason for owning BP. Also, I might as well take the money out and invest into those companies or spread the money out into other companies in my portfolio as well. So I've been uh, trying this strategy and I've been uh, trying to uh, allocate all those resources into different, uh, different sectors in my portfolio. So also uh, recently I sold another, I, which at uh, this week I sold another, I sold another stock which was a Dine brand which owns uh, Applebee's and uh, and if you, I don't know Applebee's and IOP if you go to those uh, restaurants it's uh, they on the Dine brand. So I sold I sold uh, about three three shares of it. I think I bought I. The, my initial investment was about 20 was about i think a hundred dollars so i bought it at 20 dollars each per share so i didn't buy a lot of this of course i should have bought a lot of them because i knew the stock was gonna pop i mean i knew it wasn't going anywhere but i didn't buy a lot of it so i sold three shares out of five shares i own so and which is about two hundred and forty eight dollars and sixty six cents so the reason why I'm selling dine is because I mean I think they actually even uh, pause the dividends for at the moment so they're not even paying dividend at the moment uh, due to the whole pandemic thing that happened as you can see nine analyst analyst ratings of 89 89 percent I'm not saying this is a bad company I'm just saying I want to put the money into good use into other companies that could be paying me dividends so in the next few years nobody knows this company might be bigger than what it is now but at the same time i want to take my profits out because i already made some profit and put them into other other uh, other sectors so there's no there's no shame in taking profit out that's why you invest take the profits uh, profits out and uh, put them into other stuff so as you can see uh, I, own, I own two more shares which I, i'm pretty sure i'm going to be selling soon so uh, and uh profit of 127 i as you can see my average cost was 20 dollars in this company so and i was i read 300 percent my money in the company so also i sold uh i sold tcl carnival cruise i brought this i bought this stock too when it was trading at seven dollars i started buying a lot of them but as you can see i sold about three hundred dollars worth which was about uh 12 but i haven't <laughs> i didn't sell everything yet but i i sold three hundred dollars worth just to take my initial investment out i think i've paid them out 250 uh for all 30 shares i own 30 shares then so i sold most of it i sold about 300 dollars worth uh, to take my initial investment out so i'm pretty sure i'm going to be selling this to uh, me anytime in the future i'm not sure when i'm going to be selling the rest of the stocks but uh the main video is to show you i've been selling those stocks i said i was going to sell because uh they are not part of the they're not part of the of the stocks i want to own in my portfolio for retirement but i bought this specifically to collect profits in the future and we which was back in 2020 when the market just crashed i bought those stocks and you can, as you can see my average cost was about twelve dollars and seventy eight cents when i first owned carnival cruise and when it dropped first i bought it at from a 50 something dollars i bought it at 20 i bought it at something like 30 something dollars that's where my average cost was a little bit higher so after i bought it at 20 something dollars and i i bought two shares so those two shares I didn't buy after that. Then when the stock went to seven dollars, I started loaded up on it. So that's which 
brings the average cost down to $12.78. So as you can see, I have 17 more shares of there and I have a profit of $169.40. So the fair value for this company is $26 and it's on the value right now, as you can see. So uh, if you guys want to know how to uh, actually look for oversold or undervalued companies, I did a video. You should, you guys should check that out, and it's going to uh, go into details how I actually look for this, look for companies which are undervalued, undervalued and oversold. So uh, that's the last, that's the last stock I sold for. I took my profit out of uh, as of recently so i'm going to be selling more of this i'm um, pretty sure i'm gonna be selling ccl and uh, ccl and uh and dying brand pretty soon but uh as of right now i'm just going to be holding on to them and see what the market does in the next few days maybe they're gonna go up so i could sell at a higher profit than what it is right now so also i do own i do have some stocks i still want to sell stocks like nat which is a northern american tanker but i can't really sell it as of right now because i'm down in it and i didn't actually pay a lot for the stock i think i bought the stock i was less than 50 dollars what i put in the stock but i'm trying to like get rid, get rid of it out of my portfolio but i'm not also selling at a loss because it's uh it's trading below what i bought it from i'm down 33 dollars but uh, i'm not in a hurry and the one stock i want to actually get out of my portfolio is geo group which is a, a REIT company i'm actually trying to sell the stock i'm down 172 dollars and 54 cents i own 21 shares average cost of 16 dollars and 38 cents so the stock went down crazy during the whole pandemic thing so and they actually just stopped paying the dividend also i also bought the stock because they had a higher dividend yield which i shouldn't have but i shall but i did but i did i did buy the stock and i think that's actually the last stock i'm going to be selling in the portfolio everything else i have in the portfolio is going to be staying and yes i think that's the last one i i actually have in the portfolio i'm actually going to be doing a video on why uh, on on a warm on my walmart stock and i actually have a lot of a story on that and why i have some other shares somewhere else so uh that seems to be the video for this that seems to be all for this video and if you like this video please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to see other videos i'm going to be i'm going to be dropping in the future and uh that seems to be all thank you for watching and bye